Box to Box NBA Preview, hosted by Dex. Welcome to my NBA Preview, and we are at number one, the team that is ranked first in my season preview rankings. By now, you guys know what team it is. We are going to high altitude. We're going to Denver, the first place that legalized marijuana. <laughs> Colorado. I don't know why I said it, but yeah, it was just there. It was just begging. Um, 2022-23 season, all you need to know is that the Nuggets won the NBA championship, and they showed a brand of basketball that I feel like is quite, is quite, um, it's something that can be repeated, and it's sustainable. Ball movement, slashers, um, unselfishness, like, they are just a well-oiled machine. Like, this team is just insane. The one, mo- the one of the most underrated things about the Nuggets um, and Jokic specifically is this guy just doesn't make bad decisions. Whether it's in the pick and roll, whether he's in the post, whether he does a DHO, a dribble handoff, and he's rolling to the basket, like he doesn't make stupid decisions. And that's the that's the that's the highest compliment I can pay this guy. Because to me, at this point, I feel like. If he plays at this level for three, four, three or four more years, the only other power forward that put him above, that I'd put above him, is Tim Duncan. And Tim Duncan won four championships, right? So let's see how his career goes. Because at this moment, I, I can't see. I honestly can't say definitively. I haven't thought about it. Maybe I'll sit down and think about it. But who are the other guys? Carl Malone. I mean, obviously, he scored many points, but he never won a chip. Um, this guy, Jan, uh, Jokic, affects the game from every single aspect of the game like he's he has handprints everywhere he's leading he's one of the leaders in assists in the league even amongst guards right he's one of the highest point scorers he currently leads his team in rebounds assists uh points field goal percentage <laughs> and he's in the top 10 in those four in the entire league like this dude is just on a different level someone else who's quite quite underrated for me is jamal murray i feel like his handle has gotten tighter we need to do a top five handles in the nba i think he is now in that top five for me for me he's now in that top five um obviously alongside steph and Kyrie. i don't know who the other two are yet i haven't thought about it um then aaron gordon Someone who, when they drafted, I was... To be honest, I had so many questions about this team over the past two, three years. Aaron Gordon, when he was drafted to this... When he was traded to this team, I was like, what are you guys doing? Like, I, I honestly, I guess it was the magic. I really didn't see what he'd bring that's different. But his willingness to sacrifice and actually just be a slasher and actually knock down threes worked really well for this team, you know. Um, another person I was very skeptical of was Michael Porter Jr. After two back surgeries, I was just like, I was out on him completely. Because you don't just get one back surgery and come back. Two? Insane. And it's something that plagued him over the first two or three seasons of um, in the NBA. But to be honest and be fair to him, the guy has come back and has proven that, yo, I, I belong, you know. And not only that, they actually signed him to a bigger contract then. And it, to me, it didn't make sense. I was like, that's such a risky thing. But I feel like just winning that chip and being a, a key part of that run and being healthy throughout the entire run, already that that money is justified, you know. Um, then, obviously, the regular season, they were amazing. Towards the end of the regular season, they kind of took the foot off the pedal and they were like, ah, these guys are just cruising. And yeah, we didn't expect much from them. Obviously, we knew they were good, but like we didn't know how good they were. When they started the playoffs, it was just a different story. Beat the, beat the um, who did they beat in five? I even forget who they beat the first team. Then the Suns in six games. Then they swept the Lakers. Then they won. Then they beat the Heat in six games. So yeah, they, they were just they were just on a different level. Was it the Timberwolves? I, I can't remember who it was they beat in the first round. But yeah, this team was just wild. So with that being said, there was not much they could do. Obviously, there were people who are overperforming in this team, and it happens with every championship team. Someone who's on like a two-year con- uh, two mil contract, and then he goes and wins the chip, and he gets a big deal elsewhere. And I will give you the perfect example of that guy is who that guy is in the roster moves acquisitions. They got Justin Holiday, then they drafted three players in uh, Julian Strother, Jalen Pickett, and Hunter Tyson. They extended. Reggie Jackson to a two-year 10.25 mil and DeAndre Jordan as well to a one-year minimum. 
Then the player they lost, the one person I was talking about who actually went and got paid was Bruce Brown. Got a two-year for five mil at the Pacers. Someone who was also really, really crucial to this team. When he was at the Nets, he played at center. He's a, he's a guard who's played at center, small forward. He's played everywhere. When they didn't have any centers, he used to be the one who played at center spot and used to slash and actually get offensive rebounds. So, someone who's quite unselfish. Um, and they also lost Jeff Green, Uncle Jeff. Um... Um, in terms of the draft picks, they got three draft picks. The Julian Strother with the 29th pick, someone who's a good shooter from three point. Um, Jalen Pickett, 32nd pick, a guard as well. And then Hunter Tyson, 37th pick, 6'8 forward, um, who has shown that he he can actually kind of shoot and he could be an elite shooter from the perimeter. Players on expiring contracts Zeke Naji, um, DJ DeAndre Jordan, and Justin holiday in terms of the rotation after those moves this is how it looks like at pg you have jamal murray at shooting guard kcp can take us cold with pope uh small forward you have michael porter jr power forward aaron gordon and center nikola yoki so there's still a lot of continuity in this team which is good then reggie jackson as well continuity christian brown who's uh, getting more of an offensive role this year um peyton watson uh, Julian Strother, Justin Holiday, Hunter Tyson, DJ, you know, someone who's DJ is now there just for vibes. It's actually weird that DJ has won a chip before Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. Hmm. Lob City. My one big question for the Nuggets is can they repeat? Because at this point, there's nothing else. There's nothing else to look forward to, right? The only thing they have to look forward to is repeat. It's a team that's just looking forward to the NBA Finals. Um, in my in my rankings, I will tell you what my prediction is for them. But I mean, you can deduce by now that they're the only team that's left, so I probably put them at first um, in the West. But even if they don't get first, it doesn't really matter. This team can beat anyone, anyone in the West comfortably. They didn't even get to a game seven in the playoffs last year. Like they were just beating people, like convincingly. So yeah, my one big question for the Nuggets: Can they repeat? The only thing for them, I mean, by now, and this is something that they know, is that now you, you, you've gone from being the hunter and now you're the hunted. Everyone is coming for you. You go to a game in the middle of February when you're just down and whatever. To the other team, the champions are here, you know. You go to Charlotte in the middle of March when they're tanking and they're like 27 in 41 or something. The champs are here. So guys are coming for you. You guys have to just show like, yo, we are up for the challenge, right? Already Jamal Murray is out for, I think, another three and a half weeks, which is, I mean, it'll happen. These things happen. Injuries do happen. The one thing they can't survive is a sustained or a um, sustained period without Jokic. He seems to have lost weight. He looks a bit springier. And even the way he plays means, like, he's not susceptible to, like, crazy injuries, you know? So, yeah, like, this team, my one big question for them is, yo, can you guys repeat? And... I firmly believe they have the tools to repeat. They also just resigned Mike Malone um, to a crazy contract. The coach is now one of the highest paid coaches in the NBA. Well deserved. He stuck with the team during lows. And he has the, this is an example of you building a team from scratch. The only thing about the Nuggets is they are owned by the Cronkies who also own Arsenal. So guys, uh, <laughs> see you transfer some of that. And they won the Super Bowl with the Rams. And then two years ago. And then now they've won this. The Avalanche won as well. The, like all Colorado and Denver teams have won. Arsenal is the only team that the Cronkies own that hasn't won. So yeah, guys, it's time for a title. Anyway, 24 second prediction. Short clock. Denver Nuggets are going to finish first in the West. Denver Nuggets are going to get 60 wins comfortably. And the Denver Nuggets are going to make it to the NBA Finals. Whoever they meet there... Uh, you guys already know what I predicted, but that team that I predicted is going to meet them is going to beat them. <laughs> and that is our preview for the NBA 23-24 season. It's been a joy. I wished for this thing to come out earlier, but obviously stuff happened, but we're here. NBA, guys, I'm here. I'm here with you guys all through. So, yeah. <sighs> can't wait. Can't wait for this season. Thank you, guys. Let's chat on our box to box WhatsApp group where we all talk about NBA, NFL, and all those things. But this is good specifically for NBA, and I want you guys to join. Peace! Ready for the ultimate slam dunk of content? Don't miss out on any of our NBA previews. Hit subscribe and be the MVP of your basketball knowledge game.